Hey, what's up guys? My name is Wings and welcome to a game called Beyond Eyes. This is one of the games that I gave everyone a choice to pick between. This it was this or another game called Virginia, which is another game about stuff that I have no idea because I haven't played it yet. Anyways, so we're gonna be playing this game and starting a series out of this. I was gonna upload Minecraft today, but I figured why not go ahead and get a get a jump start on the series and get it out there and see if people enjoy it. So I have no idea what this game is about other than you play as a little girl in a mystical wonderland and you do stuff with stuff. I have heard that this is a very, very slow paced game and it's a it's meant to be like a really in depth experience that you that you're supposed to take your time with. So if you have some time to spare and you want to kick back and relax, this is the video for you. So without further ado, without any more stalling, let's jump right into this shit, shall we? There's like no sound to this. Oh, never mind, we're playing. <laughs> so there's me. There's the sound. I was like, is there no sound to this game? One day she received a visitor. It's Mrs. Pussy Fluffs. Hello, Mrs. Pussy Fluffs. How are you? Why are her eyes closed? Is she blind? Is this... Is this about a blind girl? Oh god, they weren't kidding. You walk so slow. Oh! She is blind! I think. So, no, none of the buttons do anything. I can't run. So the world just kind of forms up as I go. This is really cool. Oh, and I can hear stuff in it. Oh. That's, this is pretty cool. So the world just forms up around me. The world revolves around me. Mrs. F Mr. F Miss, I don't know if it's a boy. I'm gonna call him Mr. Mr. Fluffy Pussy. What are you doing? No, oh, it's adorable. The pair quickly became best friends. I feel like this is a game that like a six-year-old girl would play. Perfect. <laughs> Perfectly suits this channel. I hope there's like some big tragedy at the end. I don't know why. Summer gave way to autumn. Ray's friend now be had an earth for now had a name. What did she name him? The atmosphere is really cool. So wherever I go, that part of the world stays uncovered. That's pretty cool. Mommy. What is she saying? Can't understand her. What are you, Mr. Crowy Crew? Hey! Oi, bird! See your ass! Isn't this kind of dangerous? There's just a blind little girl aimlessly walking around. I guess it's up to me to guide her so she doesn't get killed. But she goes so slow. Nanny? So, I know this is completely far-fetched from how blind people actually see. But, wouldn't it be cool if you were blind and they could, like, you, if wherever you've been, you could, like, memorize that area? Kind of like a muscle memory of that area? I think I had to find the cat. Where's the kitty? But this is like, is she saying Manny? I can't tell. I guess it's like the world through a blind little girl. Nanny. Oh, Nanny! And on the day she didn't visit, he would always show up eventually. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes a whole lot of sense.
So now what? There's a fence there. Okay. And she'll actually like stick her hands out whenever she gets close to something. Like she's feeling for the leaves and stuff. See, I didn't know this was uh, about a blind little girl. I thought it was just about a little girl in like a weird, crazy fantasy universe. Oh, there's a wall there. This is weird for me because I'm like I'm worried I'm gonna walk off the edge of the world, but like you can't do that. Is there just a wall everywhere? Is there? Damn it! Go, go around! God fuck! This is gonna get annoying. Is there really wall everywhere? Yeah, I'm assuming it connects. Yeah, it does. Okay then. So where shan't I go then? This way. Winter came. Nanny started to visit less often. Oh, Why did he start visiting less often in winter? I'm pretty sure she loves that kitty. And... Oh, this is starting to get kind of sad. Nanny, don't hiss at me. Guessing that, that yeah, that, that's just all the way around. Um, none of the buttons really do anything. Okay, so I can understand the reason the game is this slow because, like, you know, she's she's blind, so obviously she has to take it slow and walk around and feel for where she's going. Oh, 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 get off the buckets. Here we go. Following the path. Hi, Nanny. How are you, you big fucking pussy? Each time Nanny left the garden, Ray would worry, wondering if he would ever come back. So it is a heat. This is like all the makings of a like a perfect horror game. I'm waiting for it to take a turn for the worse. This one strong little girl. Ray missed her friend badly, and one day she decided to go find Oh god, this is not a good idea, little girl. I think there's a there's 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 a big stone wall around your house to keep you out keep you from getting out so you don't go hurt yourself. Your mother paid good money for that wall. Donald Trump supported it. He built that wall just for you. <laughs> they built a wall just for you. And now you're outside of it. You ungrateful little bitch. You know, to be such a small game, it sure takes forever to load. Okay. What do you got for me? Hmm. Now what? There's a fence there. Guessing that goes around. I need to go this way. Nanny! 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 Can't understand what the fuck she's saying. I know she's saying nanny, but it doesn't sound like it. She's going nanny! Me, me, me. Is she blind and deaf? That's gotta be so bad that she can't even see the beauty around her. It's kind of depressing. I wondered if Nanny might come this way. She can't see! Climb over. Careful. Careful. Okay. Swear to God, if you would have fell and broke your spine, I would have been held responsible for that shit, okay? I'm looking out for you. Mommy. It's my responsibility to make sure you don't 
fucking drown. Okay, there's a bridge here. I was about to say, she's gonna drown. Stay close to this. Oh god, she's like, oh, she's walking off. She's gonna fall. <laughs> Only complaint I have so far is that you gotta get really close to stuff for it to form up. Also, you can't see when you go over certain things. Can't see back. Graphics aren't the best in this game, but I didn't expect them to be that good. Things are not always as she imagined them. Things are starting to get a little weird. Can I not go this way? Why are things getting all creepy? Oh, the blackness is closing in on me. So oh, she's scared. What do I do? I guess I need to stay away from the crows. There is a fence there. There's more fence. There's a bush. More bushes. Nanny, you little shit when I find you. Oh, here we go. I don't, I don't know if it does it by itself or not, but I butt mashed the shit out of A. Trying to understand. Nanny! Nanny! Here, come here, you little shit! Trying to understand what's going on. I guess we're just gonna follow the skid mark on the ground. It's always a good idea. Follow the skid mark. This game is really gorgeous. I'm not gonna lie, it's really beautiful. She just like. She's just not giving a fuck. She's like, oh, the world is so lovely. I could care less if I fell off a cliff and hit my head on the way down. Oh, it's a froggy. Hey, Mr. Froggy Fruit. How you doing, booty boo? Come here, Mr. Froggy. Where'd you go? Hmm. As a little girl, I will aimlessly investigate. That's how I was when I was a little girl. I aimlessly investigated everything. Fixing my camera for the better. Oh, god damn it. I always knew they would come. Oh, there's a chair there. I feel like she just like smacked the shit out of her shins on that. She's like, ah, that felt lovely. The world is just so big and crazy to her. Because she can't see anything, so it's just a huge adventure of amazing glories and wonders, or a death land of nothing but pure, sure terror and, and death. Don't fuck me. Don't you think about it. Okay? Fucking chickens. Fucking roosters. Or chickens. Whatever the fuck they are. I'm assuming they're chickens. Why did I come in here? Was there a reason? Because I'm guessing this is all fenced in, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Why did I come in here? Can I grab this fucking chick? Come here, you fucker. Come here, I'm gonna fuck you. Okay. I guess we're not going in there. I would explore a little more, but... No, oh, it's gorgeous. I would explore a little more, but like it's so slow as it is. And I can't make these videos too too long. It's so pretty, like it kinda reminds me of um Fable. That's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of Fable 2. A little bit of the first Fable. I didn't play a whole lot of the first Fable, but I know life Fable 2 and 3.
Um, oh, find a fence. So she's scared now. I need to get her away from the noise. And into the la away from the dog, and into the river. <laughs> and oh, there's a bridge. Oh, hey, we can't all drown, children. Not always. Where are you, Nini? Nini! There's a wall here. Oh, there's a door. Can I go through the door? Nope. I wish it was like, kind of like a walk faster option. Don't get me wrong. He's doing a fine job walking here. Fine job. I just wish she would walk a little faster. So yeah, that's 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 my second complaint so far. They should have. I mean, I, I get it. She's blind, but I'm guiding her. I'm not gonna let anything happen to her. Okay. I take good care of game characters. Okay. I take good care of them. Not always. Sometimes. I just wish it was kind of a walk faster button. Like if I could hold X or Y or A and walk faster, and just right trigger. I just walk a little faster because it's kind of annoying that the game forces me to walk at a set speed. Playing a game is about accessibility. It's about it's about expanding and having your own experience. Oh, there's the wall. That's that's a that's a gate and columns and stuff is. This is really pretty. Going down a hill. The darkness? What's with the darkness? Should I go into the darkness? Shall I? Never mind. We shan't go in the darkness, because the darkness shall fuck us, and I shan't let that happen. Not to this girl, never! <laughs> You're safe with me, gal. I shall protect you. Ah! Oh, it's the street. Oh. Get hit by a car. I was waiting for- Oh, there's the car. I think if I saw that, I'd be a little freaked out. I'd be like, is that little girl okay? She she looks like one of those evil little ghost girls that would appear at the end of your bed at night while you're sleeping and do bad things to you. You know, like stab you with fingernails, knives, and scream and throw things at you. And... Make your bed float. That'd be kind of cool, actually. I'd like a flying bed. I want a flying bed now. I really, really want a flying bed now. That would be much appreciated if I could get a flying bed. There's a sewer. Let me go in the sewer. Ray had never been this far from home, but she managed, but she imagined Nanny would have come here. Okay. So you, you, you just trust this, this Nanny character. Do you even know him? Like, really? You've never seen him? How do you know he's good for you? He's bad news, Ray. Bad news. Such bad news.
That kind of scared me. <laughs> Is there another bridge here? This game's just full of bridges. Oh, there is a bridge here. I was just on the lop side of it. I crossed the bridge with flying colors. I guess this gives whole new meaning to just because you can't see something doesn't mean it's not there. That's a little creepy. That's a little scary. See in a cage too? No. Is he gonna eat me? So the game kind of tells you where to go. It basically, it kind of shows you the path you want that it wants you to take. I feel like I'm unraveling a story here, but I'm just not understanding. That's a wall. It's a whole lot of wall. Just a whole lot of wall. I'm gonna stick to the path because it seems like this game has a set experience that it wants me to have. So. Fuck you. Nanny! Come here, you little shit. I'm gonna fuck you. What the fuck? There's a shed here with baby faces on it. That's weird. Can I open this? No? Guess not. Also, that wasn't Nanny. That's just what I thought was Nanny. Okay, so I can't go back there. What the fuck do I do then? Ah, my neck hurts. My neck hurts, mate. This wall probably goes all the way around, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Okay, so this game mainly wants you to explore every inch of the environment, literally, and that's that's cool, but it's annoying when it's forced. Some people like to explore. Some like to get the fuck on with it. In this situation, you're not given the choice. Yeah, it's just a wall around this entire place. So then, how do I get in here? Or do I not? I'm guessing I'm not. And I can't go back here, can I? No, it won't let me. And, like, the movement's just really stiff. Like, you turn left, she waits, like, ten seconds, and then she turns. Okay, well, this was a waste of time. Yeah, we hear you, you fucking clucking little bitch. Is there a... There is not. Okay. So, I'm guessing I'm gonna have to restart from, like, the beginning of the chapter in the next episode. And I'll just kinda get back to where I was. What is this? Nope. Can't go through there. I'm guessing these, like, transition loading screens or whatever, I'm guessing those are chapters. Oh, I found the path. Sweet. Or did I? God damn it, dude. This is annoying. Everything's like, oh, yeah, go this way. Nope, never mind. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, bushes to the rescue. There's a beer bottle. It's just great. Child game. So was all that just for me to get around the dog? Really, bitch? You couldn't have just walked past the fucking dog? He's most likely not. He's most likely... Not going to bite you. Most likely. 
Oh my god. I really want to like this game because it's so pretty. It's so subtle, but... I'm getting sick of everything in my way. Can you leave me alone? God damn it. Okay, he's distracted. Yeah. Fuck yourself, Poochie. I'm guessing it wants me to go this way. Oh, it's a, it's a fucking winter wonderland now. Well, not literally. <sighs> like, I'm not gonna lie, the game is cool. And I wanna like it. It's just kind of annoying right now. God damn it. Like, I just, I wish, they should have made, like, her sense range just a little bit farther. Because it's really, 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 really kind of annoying to have to get right up against something. And the controls don't make it any better. Like, the control, like, controlling her is really kind of stiff. So, like, if they were going to use this, like, super close mechanic, they should have made it so she could move faster. And made the controls a little bit, like... You know, a little less tanky. School time! Let's go learn some shit on some more shit. I wonder what year this takes place in. I didn't look at that. <sighs> Back hurts. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hello. Eh. Eh. Come here. <laughs> eh. Come here. Hello. I'm sorry. Hello. Hello, Lilo. How are you? Hi. Eh. How are you? Papa. Oh, there. Help. Papa. Get all away. Help me. Lily has lost her ball. She's lost all of her marbles, too. Is this game, is there, do I really have to go find the fucking ball? Are you serious? Oh, there. Yeah, I know where it went. That way. I know! I'm there. I know! Shut the fuck up! Oh, there. You send... You're such a great kid. You send a blind kid to get your fucking ball. I know. Yeah, being a little pussy. Oh my god, really? Really? Jesus Christ, let me go. Oh my god. Sorry, bitch, but you're gonna have to get the ball yourself because I'm not getting that shit. Yeah, I heard you the first six times. Oh, there. I know. Oh, there. Shut the fuck up! That way. I know. I know it went that way. It went that way. I know. I heard you. It went that way. It went that way. It went that way. That way. It went that way. <laughs> I'm there. I know. I heard you. I know exactly where your fucking ball went. I heard you. That way. I know! Kids these days expect me to get every fucking thing for them. Well, where the fuck do I go to get her ball? How do I get to her fucking ball?
Here we go. That was the most annoying fucking long ass walk around bullshit. Just go get your fucking ball. Oh look, a broken swing set. No, I'm not swinging on that. You can kiss my ass. Oh my god! Okay. We're actually out of time for this video. I'm gonna try to get through this game because it's really pretty and it looks interesting, but if it keeps going the way it's going, gonna give up on this shit. Cause this is annoying. It looks cool. It probably looks cool. Like it looks interesting watching someone play it probably. Like watching me play it, you're probably like, oh, that's really pretty. I want, I want to play, I want to see what the story has. I want to see that. No. No. It's a clunky, smooshed together annoyance. Okay? It's a big old fucking annoyance. You don't know what the fuck is there until you run into it, and then you spend 30 goddamn seconds trying to turn her fucking retarded ass around to get away from the thing you ran into. There's like, you get stuck on everything. Like, you legit get stuck on everything. But nonetheless, we're gonna finish it. Because I bought this shit, so we're gonna finish it. Okay? You're just gonna have to deal with me bitching about it the whole time. And to be fair, I haven't had a lot of sleep. So I'm a little cranky to begin with. And this was just kind of the icing on the cake. So far, the game is a little annoying. But I'm willing to give it the benefit of the doubt and keep going. Because, like I said, I bought this shit. I'm going to at least play it. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching this video and sticking around through this long, boring fucking first two levels. I hope you got some enjoyment out of it because I sure as hell didn't. Okay, that's not fair. I got, it was, it was, it's cool. I'm not going to lie. It's a cool game. And if you enjoyed this video, which I'm hoping you did, I didn't, <laughs> smack that like button on whatever type of anal area you prefer to call it, and show your support for my channel, and why not subscribe for everything else I upload. You'll see them first, and you'll be the first to dislike them. Fuck you. And check out my Patreon. You don't have to donate, but you still look over it, and there's rewards if you do donate, so look at that. And I have merchandise. Check out my shirts and, and coffee mugs and phone cases and shit on shit, and there's plenty more where that came from. I'm going to be making some new designs soon, so there'll be more to choose from, and just all around greatness. <laughs> you guys have been an amazing audience, and I will see all of you wonderful, beautiful people! Goodbye, guys.